Hey y'all, it's me again. I don't like the rim light on my glass now, so I'm gonna have to fix the uh, one, two, three testing, rim light testing. Because I need these glasses to see. If I put my chin down, you get the full on double chin. What are we gonna do? This is a crisis. But without glasses, is it? Anywho, okay, um, I decided to do some HelloFresh cooking. I also decided that I can't go around looking like a soccer mom anymore. So I had to glam it up. If you're gonna look like a Kardashian, you gotta cook like one. So I put my high heels on. This is Hollywood. Okay, well, I may lose the rim light more. Okay. The star of the show is not me, it's the dinner from HelloFresh, y'all! Hot honey chicken. Hot honey chicken. Appropriately named. If you pick up what I'm putting down. Alright, in the hot honey chicken bag, we got, this is our um, instructions card. On our first rodeo does second one. So inside our healthy fresh bag, we can go our ingredients for the dinner. We got the broccoli. Oh, the broccoli. Got sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. Mike's hot honey. Hey Mike. Hey. Hey. And panko breadcrumbs. I mean. I've got all of these except for hot Mike, hot honey Mike, and my uh, pantry. Sour cream seems like a staple with uh, HelloFresh. And we've got here inside, we have four potatoes, oh, five potatoes, five oh, potatoes, and of course our chicken. What is the first step? Step one, preheat the oven to 425. We're gonna dice these potatoes. We're gonna dice them and dice them. Okay, that's enough. Sorry. This isn't professionally done makeup either. I did this. And the hair, I did it. Okay, back to story of potatoes. When I was a young girl, no, well, there's no story about potatoes. And they want you to chop these potatoes in like half inch cubes. At least that's what the recipe said too. I'm not just making this stuff up. I always follow recipes to the T because I don't want it to be my fault if it doesn't come out or if I don't like it. No, because then I just blame all the recipe. Well, the recipe set. You guys should try that. The next step is so just uh, we like to take one step at a time sometimes we can only take one minute at a time you know you know you know you know you know you know god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change and there are many of them hopefully you all know the rest got my kardashian cup with my kardashian drink just a little seltzer water Okay, so I've diced my potatoes and I seasoned them. I even greased the pan a little bit, lubed the pan, oiled the pan. I don't know what's politically correct these days. But, yeah, because I don't want these suckers to stick. It says to set them aside. Set it over here, because I've got a lot of kitchen space. Not to be worried about. A lot of kitchen space. Don't worry about it. Two. What makes me look smarter? I don't know. All right, step two, we're gonna make the crust, probably the panko, 
and um, seasoning of some sort. You'll see it here live. Go breadcrumbs. Next step is we're gonna coat the chicken. It must be cold outside because we're gonna put a coat on the chicken. <laughs> Crested our chicken. All you needed to do, you didn't get no egg, which is kind of cool. Sour cream, but you can substitute your sour cream. And now I'm adding advice here because I'm Chef Contessa or Rachel Ray or whatever. But um, you could switch out sour cream for Greek yogurt for all you who don't know. Okay. So the next step basically is to take our chicken and our potatoes and we go on down, put them in the, in the oven here, you know. Oh no. Set our oven for 425, and we're gonna put the chicken there on the middle rack and the potatoes on the top rack. Check your racks before you preheat your oven. Anyways, chicken middle rack, potatoes top rack, 20 25 minutes, and that's what we're gonna do next. So we've got the stuff baking, potatoes, and um, the chicken you saw go into the oven. The next thing it says here is to, uh, step five, cook your broccoli. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, cut any large broccoli florets into bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna use this little bowl that I already used in the first take where I forgot to video me Pouring my broccoli in the bowl. I don't want you guys to miss one detail, not one. We're gonna put a teaspoon of water in here, and then we're gonna put them in the microwave for one to two minutes. I personally will probably do one minute because I like to have my veggies al dente. I'm a real Italian, you know. You know, one thing I do like about HelloFresh though is that the meals are so easy to cook. There's not a lot of dishes, which is my favorite part. Not much of a dish do I don't really like doing them. My parents traumatized me when I was a kid, I think. I just don't know, I, no other reason why. I put a little salt and pepper on the broccoli, says to cover it before you put it in the microwave. But we still have 15 minutes to cook left on our chicken and our potatoes. So I'm gonna wait. Desi Quarantino, because <laughs> we're quarantined. Tarantino, no. potatoes midway and I highly recommend it because 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 even though I put a lot of oil on my pan and really lubed it up to the point where I was thinking oh my gosh I may have used too much oil on my um, too much lube on my potatoes they're gonna be so greasy but they um, they darn stuck to the pan because I like to brown up my potatoes when I put them in the oven to bake them I like to brown them up, but I like to flip them over a couple of times, two, three, four times, because I like to get them nice and brown because they're crispy. I like crispy taters. My grandma always asked for her french fries well done, so that's where I got that from. The moral of the story is, put more oil on your potatoes. I was a little, like, not so generous when I was drizzling, and it's for the cameras, y'all, to be honest, because, um, and as for my broccoli, I did one minute and it wasn't quite done. Another 30 seconds, I haven't taken it out yet. Next process, we're gonna take the suckers out of the microwave and of the oven. Everything should be ready to go. Okay, the final step 
was to plate the meal. So I plated the broccoli and the potatoes and the chicken. And now the final piece de resistance. As they say in La Fresh, you know, that there's the, I can't even do a French accent. I try, I can't do it. Is Hot Mike's Honey. Hot Mike's Honey. Hot my oh, it's Mike's Hot Honey. I messed this whole thing up. Totally thought Mike was hot. Call me, just call me. Call me, call me, call me. All right, I have added the hot honey. Not not hot mic. Voila. We have got hot, hot honey chicken by HelloFresh and Desi Mac. Enjoy.